Hi, welcome back. This is Mr. Tipton, and today we are going to talk about solving inequalities and graphing their solutions on a number line. Okay, solve and graphing. Solve and graph inequalities. The solving part is no different than it has been. Here's a nice and easy one-step equation. It does have some negatives in it, but we're good at those now, so no big deal. So on the left, our variable's on the left side, and what's with the x? We have a negative 11. How do you undo negative 11? With a positive 11. Those are going to cancel. And on the left, we have x. What you do to one side, you must do to the other side, so we're going to add 11 to negative 6. And it looks like the positives are going to win by 5. All right, so the solving is no different than it has been. Use the same steps, get the variable by itself, undo what you do to one side, you must do to the other side, same stuff. Now, I'd like you to leave a little bit of room between example 1 and example 2 because we're going to come back to these problems and do our graphing later. First, I just want to make sure that we know how to solve. We'll come back and graph here in a little bit. All right, so in example two, uh, our variable, the k, is on the right side and looks like it has a positive 15 with it. How do you undo a positive 15? With a negative 15. And what you do to one side, you must do to the other. 10 minus 15, looks like the negatives have more, 5 more, and we get negative 5 is less than k. Now, we talked in the last video about making sure that the variable is on the left, uh, which is fine. Um, k is greater than negative 5. You have to be careful when you're flipping around these inequalities. If you'll notice, the shark, right, the shark, the whale, whatever, alligator, it's eating the K. So when I flip around this statement, I have to make sure that I'm still eating the K. It is going to be easier to do a lot of things, including graphing, if the variable is on the left. But if when you solve it's on the right, you must be careful. Please pay attention to your signs. You can flip the whole thing around, but you've got to be eating uh, the same term. A number, uh, another one here. Example 3. P is on the right with a negative 8. So we're going to add 8. So that will cancel. And what you do to one side, you must do to the other. Negatives are going to win by 4. Again, my variable, p, is on the right side. I'd really like it to be on the left. And if you notice, we're eating the negative 4, or you could say that we're pointed at the p. That can't change. Everything has to flip when you move around an inequality. Please be careful. Example 4. All right, when you multiply or divide... I circled those because this doesn't work for the add and subtract equations or inequalities. But when you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. So if you'll notice in this example, k is being divided by negative 4. It's being divided by a negative. So when we undo, we know that to undo dividing, we're going to multiply and it's going to cancel. All right, that's, that's the same. There's nothing new about that. And what you do to one side, you must do to the other side. So we're going to multiply the 24 by negative 4, which is negative 96. And here, here's, here's our new rule. Because we multiplied both sides by a negative, we did negative 4 on both sides, we have to flip the sign. So instead of less than or equal to, it's greater than or equal to. Let's look at another one. Example 5. We've got 56 is less than negative 7w. We are multiplying by a negative 7, so we're going to divide by a negative 7. 
what you do to one side, you must do to the other side. 56 divided by negative 7 is negative 8. And again, because we divided both sides by a negative number, we've got to flip the sign around. It was a less than, now it's a greater than. But you know what? With this problem, my variable's on the right, and I really need it on the left, so I'm going to end up flipping that symbol again. So we are going to end up back with a less than symbol uh, to get the variable on the left. W is less than negative 8. That's the solution set for this problem, for that inequality. Let's look at one more. 6H is less than negative 54. Divide by 6 on both sides. We have H over here, and we have negative 9 on the right. Now, got to pay attention, I am not going to flip this sign. I know that 54 is negative, but the 6 is a positive. And it's only if you are multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative number that you flip the sign. We're, we're dividing by a positive 6, so there's no reason to flip. All right, so that's the solving. Let's talk about the graphing now. We're actually going to go back to each of these problems. When we graph, any time our inequality has a less than or a greater than sign, we are going to use an open circle on our number line. Any time there is a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to, we're going to use a closed circle. All right, so I'm going to go all the way back to our first problem. And we're going to have to create a little, uh, real basic number line so that we can graph our solutions. All right, so I'm just going to draw, draw a line here. And I want two things on the number line. Well, two numbers. I want the number in your solution set, which for me is 5. For us, it's 5. And I also want to know where 0 is in relation to the 5. 5 is a positive number, so 0 is over here on the left. That's good enough for the number line for now. So x is less than or equal to 5. We know that because it's a less than or equal to, we need to use a closed circle. I'm going to switch colors. But we're going to put a closed circle on 5. Actually, I don't like that color. I want, I want to go green. There we go. The green on the black stands out a little better. I have a closed circle. Because x is less than or equal to 5, 5 could be a solution for this inequality. So we want to make sure that the 5 is shaded in. Now, x is less than or equal to 5. Where are all the numbers that are less than 5? Are they to the left or are they to the right of the 5? Well, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 0 is less than 5. It's on the left. So we're going to shade. And that's a really bad job of shading. It's tough to go straight here. We're going to shade everything to the left of that 5 less than goes to the left. What we've done is we've shaded all of the numbers that would make this inequality true. We know that if we substituted 5 in, we'd get something that was equal to negative 6. But let's say I substituted in 0. 0 minus 11, less than or equal to negative 6, is negative 11 less than or equal to negative 6? Yes, it is. Negative 11 is further away from 0 than negative 6. Got to make sure you understand this. Everything that's shaded on this graph could be an answer to this problem. This is called the solution set. I'm going to write it down here. I'm going to try if my pen will cooperate. Solution set. Let's look at another one. Gonna switch colors. Oh, there's my little alligators. Another number line. 
And again, I'm going to look right here with the variable on the left. K is greater than negative 5. So I'm going to put my negative 5 on the number line. And I also want to know where 0 is. If we're talking about a negative 5, that means 0 is on the right. What kind of circle do we use? It's a greater than sign, which means we need an open circle. We are not including 5. We have to have numbers that are greater than, more than, the negative 5. Where are all the numbers that are greater than negative 5? Are they to the left or are they to the right? They are to the right. Greater than gets shaded to the right. Greater than goes to the right. And you can always sub one in to try it. Use zero. Zero is a great number to try. 10 is less than 15 plus zero. Is 10 less than 15? Yes, it is. So we did it right. We shaded in the right direction. Okay. Let's graph this one. We're going to graph all six of these that we did. P is less than or equal to negative 4. 0 is on the right. And it's a less than or equal to. It's got the equal to, so I'm going to use a closed circle. And all of the numbers that are less than negative 4 are to the left of it. And the trick's only going to work as long as the variable is on the left side. That's why we flipped it around. Number next. K is greater than or equal to negative 96. I'm going to put negative 96 right there. And 0 is on the right of it. What kind of circle? Closed circle. Because it's greater than or equal to. And greater than gets shaded to the right. There we go. That's graphing. Not too bad. Solving and graphing inequalities. One step inequalities today. All right, negative 8. Zero's on the right. And it is a less than, so it gets an open circle. And less than's on the left. One more to graph. H is less than negative 9. Get my number line. Got another negative here, which means 0 is on the right. Less than gets an open circle. Less than's on the left. All right, so there you go. Solving and graphing inequalities. The solving is just the same as it has been. And the graphing's really not too bad. Open circles for less than or greater than. Closed circles for less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Just shade in the correct direction. If you have any questions, write them down. And we'll talk about them soon. See ya.